eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. is nominal. And your check run one. There it goes. Rocket Lab's 10th Electron has now left the pad and is on its way to space. With over a million horsepower at its back, running out of fingers will quickly reach the toughest point in its HV battle against battery physics, discharge nominal. the moment known as maximum aerodynamic pressure or max 2. So let's check in on Electron's performance. And your check run two. Vehicle is supersonic. Approaching max Q. Cleared max Q. Guidance is nominal. We've made it past max Q and Electron continues nominally. Soon the nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage will shut down ahead of its separation hey, from stage station. two and its descent back to Earth. It will be our first attempt stage at a guided atmospheric reentry of the booster, and we're hoping to be able to update you on how that goes after the mission. Once Stage 1 and Stage 2 have separated, the final vacuum-optimized Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage will come to life and propel Electron the rest of the way to orbit. Let's check back in on the operators in the lead-up to Stage Separation and Stage 2 Ignition. Staging in 15 seconds. Entering burnout check mode. Stage one, Miko. Stage separation succeeded. Stage separation. Recovery telemetry nominal. Main engine cutoff is now confirmed, and Electron's first and second stages have successfully separated. Soon the fairing will separate and jettison from Electron's kick stage, so let's watch. Bearing separation succeeded. Stage two propulsion is nominal. Looks like we've had a successful jettison of the fairing. With that out of the way, we're now 50 minutes away from the start of our scheduled payload deployment. 